Yeah, well, absolutely. And as I said, you know, AI, we've all heard of it, but we really don't know what it does. We don't yeah. know the power of it. Now, the first thing you said there, we, we talked about a, a disadvantaged sector of society. Let's, let's be clear. Who are those people? Who are you aiming at, first and foremost, first of all? Okay, so it's about 20 figures change. Anywhere between, I've heard 12, I've heard 30% of people, right? These are people who either, you hear the term digitally excluded. Yeah. So um, huge amounts of the peop uh, people who get this wrong are young. Mm -hmm. Huge amounts of people are very old. Now, these are sections of the community that need access to services, anywhere from the homeless to the men, uh, mental health challenges, to physical health challenges, to people who have anxiety, um, who have lots of different challenges that have meant that they've dropped out of society or have a hard time engaging in, uh, with, that, uh, with that particular part of society. Mm -hmm. Now, they're really hard to engage with, and it is a lot of time and effort in order to engage with these people. And that's why we have a huge, not, uh, either from public sector to local council, to charity, to NGO, in order to interact with that section of society. Mm -hmm. They are woefully underserved. And the only solution that we get is, oh, we need to give them a laptop and train them how to use it. Mm -hmm. To me, that is absurd. Look at If you look at a normal laptop, that keyboard, I've been in tech now for on and off over 30 years. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what some of those keys do. Okay. That's insane that we do that. Okay. What we need to do is create technology that they just talk to, either text or just talk to. So simplify the whole process. Simplify the engagement. Is that the right word? Yeah, and the engagement has to be emotionally immersive. So when I started this company, my first hire was Dr. Lauren, and she's a, a narrative design uh, lecturer at Plymouth University. Okay. And one of my other key hires is a linguist. Both of them are writers. Both of them were really key in how the AI is designed in order to make sure these people are emotionally immersed with it. It doesn't sound like the government. It doesn't sound like authority. It sounds like someone in their community. And that is really, really important. That was vital. And so these people who work for me are vital in how we can communicate in a way that they feel listened to. But using the most advanced technology, the world has known since for 40 years. And giving it to them, the individual, first. This is not AI that we're going to be giving to um, government, local government. What we're doing is we're giving AI to them. They're the user. 